Hey guys, what's going on today? Hey guys. So, welcome back to our channel. We have big news. We're very excited to share today. It's been like two weeks. Yeah, it's been about two weeks since this happened, but we haven't had like a weekend to film it because we, during the week we only have like short bits of time. That's why we haven't been so consistent with two videos a week. We're kind of sticking to one right now, but we wanted to save this one for a weekend where we had time. To and actually talk about it and cause, film it. Because this is a big deal. Yes. We did a big thing. We're adults. We may have bought a new car. Woo! But we wanted to share with you kind of like why we bought a new car, how we got to buying this car, and everything that went into it because it was a really big decision for us. Huge. So guys, we have been needing to do this for a long time now because my car is pretty old. Yes. Kelsey loves it. I hate that car. No offense, but I don't like it. I actually love that car, but it has this But who v drives it? Most of the time. But, well, okay, so we put all the miles on her car because it's newer. It's like a 2016 or 2015 it's Honda. It's a 2016 Honda Accord. Yeah, it's pretty nice. And then Very nice. I but... drive more miles on the daily, so I get to drive that while hers, or well, mine, she drives one mile every day. To the park and ride. Like and I told then... you in the last video, if you didn't watch it, go watch it. Yeah. Alrighty, guys. So we really needed to get a new vehicle. Pretty bad. My car is very old it's got a lot of miles it's like with 2005 so it's like 14 years old love it to death but it's been used well and like not only by us this we're the fourth fourth owners but it's all been like family friends family. third owner but it's like my parents my family friends and then us like and i only was the only one that really drove it in my family yeah. so it's very well taken care of but there's like this beep that just will not go away yeah. it's obnoxious and it's worse when it's cold out yeah, it's way. I don't old. know why. I don't know what it is about it. It's something with the <laughs> alternator, and if it's hot outside, it doesn't even beep. And if it, it's cold, it beeps like every maybe five minutes rather than every thirteen seconds. Not even thirteen seconds. It's like every two seconds right now. But I'm sure beep, we could. Beep, 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 beep. Literally, I'm beep, sure. Beep, beep. <laughs> I'm sure. Beep, 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 beep. <laughs> That's I, what it sounds like, everyone. I'm pretty sure I could put a couple hundred bucks in it and fix it, but Maybe. it's not worth it at this point. No. It really isn't because we knew at some point we were going to have to get a new car, Maybe. so Maybe. might as well. <laughs> I just want you to understand how annoying it is. Yeah, Kelsey drives it mostly, so she deals with it. Yeah, but... and I'm like, I love, I love the Honda. It's a great car, super reliable, but we've already put so many miles on it. Like... It's a 2016 and it has over 60,000 miles. Yeah, it's like almost 70,000 miles. Which so. is a lot in that many, in three years. Like on the weekend, that's the only car we ever drive. So, so we knew we needed to make a purchase so we weren't like destroying the Honda anymore. Mm -hmm. And right now it just kind of made sense for us. Yeah, so the reason that we are, we went and did this purchase now is because we plan to have a family in a couple years two to three years probably well 25 so like three years probably roughly yeah. 28 is the is ideal well, the you know the plan that's we'll the plan see. you know where life goes and whatnot a lot of things can happen yeah years. a lot of things can happen so we thought that this would be a great time to make the purchase that way we could try to have if not most of the car but all of the car paid off by that the time that we were planning to you know move, maybe move into a new house and all those things like there's a lot of big things that could happen in the next three to five years so we thought mm -hmm. now would be a good time to make this purchase and make the payments and make it completely hands off by the time we were going to move yeah we plan to try to get it all paid off before we start the, our family and whatnot so we thought right now best time to do it so yes. that's what we did rick works at state farm and like he gets really good benefits through them for yeah, purchasing have, a vehicle. Yeah, State Farm has their own credit union, so I was able to get like the best interest rate you can possibly get on cars right yeah. now. Like when we told them I was with State Farm, they're like, oh, we can't even offer you a better one at the dealership. So yeah. I was like, all right, cool. So it just made sense. We did our research thoroughly though. Like, Well, okay, we'll start off. Like we were in the process of looking at cars. We were looking at used, we were looking at older cars. We didn't know what we wanted. Like we didn't know what, year we wanted but we knew what car we wanted yeah we wanted a jeep wrangler that's been rick's dream car yeah i want a truck when. and a rank and a jeep wrangler and so she likes jeep wranglers too, i do i do so but I was this like, was i get both of my cars someday and i'm excited this is rick's dream yeah i want this a jeep is his dream and a truck it's and now i have one of them so <laughs> Woo but yeah so we knew what we wanted we originally were looking used 
The reason we were looking used is because it's expensive. Like Jeep Wranglers hold their value very well. So even buying a used one, it still is going to cost us like almost 30 grand. Yep. Because we wanted one within, I wanted to find one that was like 25 to 30 grand with like under 30,000 miles. Like yeah. I wanted it to be basically new. One thing about Kelsey's it. Kelsey's been very lucky in her life that she's yes. only driven new cars. Yes. I have only driven used piece of junk cars. Yeah. And so, so but it gives us for both me, perspectives. Yeah, definitely. So for me, I was like, oh, cool. Like used car, if we get a nice used car, that's great. But And I was all about it until I started doing research about used Wranglers. So I was all about used, let's do it, let's buy one. And then I started looking into different stories and different experiences with used Wranglers. If you have bought a used Wrangler, good for you. I just was not willing to make that, like take that risk because you never know how people drive Wranglers. Because they're off-road vehicles, people yeah. can take them off-roading and that doesn't show up in the Carfax. Yeah, so. So you just never know and I wasn't willing to risk it. If yeah, you have definitely. bought that, nothing against you or the car itself, I just wasn't. So Kelsey so really was just sketching out about suspension issues and stuff like yeah. that. And I just didn't me, want to buy a car with issues. Yeah, so, so I want to think about we it. bought a new Jeep, guys. A 2019 Jeep Wrangler. Right off the lot. It was the best. But to get to buying that Jeep, we had to chop around. Yeah, so we went through like the typical car buying process. Everyone knows it is awful. Terrible. Like, But YouTube helped us out. We yeah, watched we lots used, of YouTube videos. We watched YouTube videos to like help us find out where we're going to be trying to mark down or mark up yeah. or like where we're trying to talk them down, what we should be getting for the vehicle. So we learned a lot from YouTube. Yes. YouTube University is the best. Thank you. Works for college too, trust me. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> but... There was a process I went through. We went, we literally looked at every dealership in Arizona, like in the Phoenix area, at least on their website. Because after a couple of well, dealerships we went to in person, they're like, "Yeah, just look at our website. It has every car listed on there." So we're like, "All right, yeah. well, just gonna we're gonna start looking online and seeing what they're talking about. Look at reviews and yeah." We went to a couple different ones, and the experience at a couple of them weren't the greatest. Like, they just it just wasn't the greatest service. Like, you it might have just yeah. been because. You know how like car salesmen are, they want to make as much money as they can, which I don't blame them at all. Like go make your money, but be real with me. Like I, that's the only thing I care about yeah. is for me personally, I'm a straightforward person. If you're going to try to sales talk me, I don't want to deal with you. Like yeah. it just isn't going to work with me. Well, and some of the some of the people were trying to be real, but they were like not being honest with us. So mm -hmm. like we felt like they weren't giving us the deal that we knew we could get at other dealerships. So the more we shopped around, the more we realized that we didn't want to work with this dealership, this dealership, and this dealership. Yeah, like so. one dealership would have higher prices, but they'd be like, but we can give you discounts on it. And we're like, well, can you tell us what the discounts are? We'd have to wait until you're like basically buying it. I'm like, yeah, we had to wait day of, and I'm they like, wouldn't give us any discounts unless we literally had the check in our hands. So yeah, we weren't really willing to work with them, and we found two dealerships that we were very comparable, and we loved both of them. Mm -hmm. But the customer service we experienced at Earnhardt and Gilbert was above and beyond. Yeah, it was great. So we went in there, super straightforward to us. I already knew their prices were good. Like their prices were just as competitive as one other dealership that was like super low. Well, it wasn't yeah. like super low price, but like lower, a couple grand lower on the same exact vehicles than another dealership. Yeah. And I was like, hey, what can you do? Like, where are you gonna budge? He's like, honestly, your our prices are already at a good spot. Like, I know that because we sell more Jeeps than anyone in the state. And I'm like, hey, that's honestly in the back of my head. I was like, damn, I, I was hoping that he wouldn't know that. <laughs> definitely but, knew. So he definitely knew what he was selling. I mean, it was a good price. And he's like, hey, we can't really budge on it much, but we can work on other stuff. And I was yeah. like, all right, like that's fair. Like, I understand the price of the car is good. Like, we're chilling. So, it was already in our budget too. Like we'll say that we knew we went to the dealership knowing we could buy that. We car could at buy that, that car at that price with, without even movement, but mm -hmm. we still wanted to give it a shot. <laughs> yeah, because you always want a better deal than what you can mm -hmm. get. So yeah, so and then it got to like talking about the interest rates with them, and they were super straightforward. Like I was saying earlier, there's like, yo, there's no way we can compete with State Farm. Like they, I wrote a check the other day, I got a check from them the other day, and I was like, how do they give these rates? Yeah. And I was like. All right, cool. I it's really, crazy. I really appreciate that because other places are like we're actually really comparable because a lot of dealerships that's where they make their money is on the interest mm -hmm. rates. It's like the best though. It's like they they knew and they cared about like our experience and they made sure that we were comfortable with what we were doing and when we were doing it. So 
It was it was a really tough process to go through, mm-hmm. I will say, because we were in the process of doing that with, with doing other things in our yeah. lives. So, like, financially, we were trying to make the right decisions, and they were really supportive of that. Yeah, they're like, oh, you want to save money? Do it. Like, if you whatever you want to do, do it. And I was like, cool. I will deal with that. And then they let us take it home, and we own their car now. Yeah. <laughs> so now that the deal's officially gone through, we felt like it was a good time to do this and tell you guys a little bit about our experiences, how we shopped around, how we got to the car that we ultimately wanted. Um, but we really want to show you guys the car too. Yeah. So because it's about, so beautiful. Yeah. How about we go do that now, guys? Let's go take a look at it. Alrighty, guys. So. As you just saw, this is the, our beautiful new Jeep. The 2019. It's a 2019. The reason we did a 2019 is because the 2020s just hit the lot like a month ago. Yep. So yeah, we wanted the 2020, but we saved like six grand literally getting the 2019. Yep. So it's totally and worth it. They're, they're the exact same. They're, they're literally, literally the same. same. Like we got in one and the other and we walked around one and the other and they're literally they identical. The one thing that probably might be different is the cup holders. <laughs> the cup holders. Yes, that's what we need in our lives. But we got the... They're perfect. It's perfect. On unreg- Unlimited Sport. We got the Sport S. The Sport S. So it's just Six like a... Six cylinder. Yes. V6, baby. You gotta get that power. They kept trying to sell us on the V4. And I was like, I don't want no, no V4. Yes. No, no, no. I've had a V4 before. And I'm super glad because we drove one of their uh, loaner cars yeah. and it was a V, uh, the turbo, and it just was not as good. It was like it a v, V4 turbo and it just, mm-mm. Not doing the job. No. So this is it. Let's take a look. Alrighty, guys. We are in the Jeep now. <sighs> it's so nice. It's so nice. I we love, love it. This car. We're going to talk about some of the features we have inside the car, which yeah. are great. One of the things Kelsey had to have was. The only thing I cared about, only thing I cared about was. Apple CarPlay. I just so. love it. I have it in the Honda and it is the best for maps. <laughs> yeah, so. I get lost everywhere I go, you guys. I need the help. Yeah, she's <laughs> terrible with it. But, Hi, so it has bud. Apple CarPlay. Don't you love the new car? It bud? has an entire, like, really nice screen here. I mean, the backup camera, I'm pretty sure I could play video games on if I wanted to. It's, it's so, so clear. clear. Like, that's the number one thing people it's have back- ridden with us. They're like, why is the backup camera so clear? Let's see if we can get a, a look at this real quick. Like, look how high tech that is. I don't even know if you can tell, but it's so nice. I think you guys can tell that. It's, it is literally beautiful. Hi, Toby. Hi, Bobby. Toby loves his new car, too. He has his own spot and everything. <laughs> yeah, so. Can you get back there? Get, get in your seat. Get in your seat, Bubba's. But, yeah, so we got quite a few things in here. We got the... It is an automatic Jeep. I know. Hate me if you want, you Jeep people. But it's automatic because... I don't know how to drive stick. And I don't want to learn. This is where, obviously where you do like your four-wheel drive and stuff like that. But... We plan to put that to good use this winter. Yeah. Lots of snowboarding trips coming. So yes. I am stoked. So excited. Yeah. But it is amazing. We love it so far. Um, even showed this display. This display yeah, is nice This display too. is nice in here as well. It shows you fuel levels and everything. It's super nice. We really like that. And honestly, it's just really spacious. Spacious. Like being a passenger in the front seat, I like feel like I have my whole own space. I really like it. Hey Kelsey, I think we should show them your favorite feature. Okay. My favorite. The roof comes off. I'll show you guys. So with the hard top on the back, the hard tops are really, really hard to get off. Like you kind of have to like have like multiple people do it, which is fine. Cause it's just way quieter and more convenient. We'll eventually take the top off the back, but that's more of a later thing with the winter coming and going to the snow and stuff. I don't know that we'll be really taking it off. Probably more in the spring we'll do that. But look how easy it is to take this off. Look at how easy that is. Ooh, it's so My light. Favorite. I love it. It's literally so easy. We literally did the entire last weekend driving around with the top off like that. And it's great. It is amazing. Literally the number one reason I did it. Because in Arizona here, the winters and every, the spring and the fall is just so beautiful. And I can stick my head up out the top like a dog. Because look, it's so open. Show me your favorite part of the vehicle. This is one of the best parts of owning a Jeep Wrangler. Look at this right here, guys. This is such a classic Rick thing to like. A cooler! 
You throw your ice in there and your beer. Oh, big time snowboarding trips coming. Let's go. It's so Look, funny. In a truck, you can just throw your beers in the back when it's snowing out. Mm -hmm. But with a car, you just throw them right there. I want to hear me. Also, stop it. You are so cute. You love this car. <laughs> <laughs> That's our driver. Oh, jeez. See, we each have our own favorite part about the car. Mine's yeah. the roof. Rick's is the cooler. Hey. And it's just beautiful. And so. you can just take it off road. And stuff, it's just so. beautiful. It's good. All right, guys. Thank you so much for hanging out with us today and listening to all we have to say about our new car. Hey. We're so happy. Yeah, and the experience of buying a car. If yes. anyone has any questions about buying a car or our experience of buying a Jeep specifically, let us know because we know did some comments. research because... I know it's a pain in the ass. It so really is. If you do need any We're here help, to help. Yeah, seriously. Also, make sure you like and subscribe to the video. Yes, please. We really appreciate it, guys. We are putting one video out a week now uh, instead of two because we just want to give you guys some better content. We thought we were just kind of throwing stuff together, but other than that, we uh, we love you guys and we'll see you next time. Out. Bye. Bye.